our lab is interested in something we refer to as experience-based neuroplasticity. So we're interested in how our environment and our interactions with the world sculpts our brain, our neural networks. And this could have some therapeutic value as we learn more about this and helping us understand mental illness and mental health. And our collaborators are the rodents. We have a rat lab here at the University of Richmond. Their brains have all the same areas that our brains have and neurochemicals, so it's a good starting point uh, model to use to learn more about the human brain. We love to study these animals and see, we're always amazed at what they can do in the lab with their behavior, their cognitive flexibility, their emotional resilience. We follow this, the rodent behavior and their brains to learn more about human behavior and brains. When we published the original Driving Rat manuscript, part of that was looking at the effects of different environments on the animal's ability to drive. And we've been interested in enriched environments and other areas of the lab research areas. And when I say enriched, I mean an engaged environment, more engaging and dynamic than the standard rat laboratory cages. So in an enriched or an engaged environment, the space is larger, there are more animals in there to interact with. They can exercise. We introduce new stimuli. Some of them are more natural stimuli as well. So we think it's closer to a natural environment for the rat. It's no real surprise that, that they train more efficiently, that they're more motivated to drive the cars. Uh, we're also interested in, in measures or markers of neuroplasticity. And we have a grant from the National Institute of Mental Health to look at ways to enhance emotional resilience in the rats so they may be less susceptible to show evidence or behaviors that are consistent with depression or anxiety disorders. Neuroplasticity, the brain's ability to change, seems to be important for emotional resilience and for cognitive abilities. And so we're beginning to think about how we can look at markers for neuroplasticity in these driving rats. This is a big part of their life that we're training is um, happening. And we know even with humans that training can change the brain in really interesting ways. Just learning to juggle can increase the density or the area of certain areas of our brain's cortex. There's been a lot of interest in this, and so it's just fun to see a rat driving a car, but in the context of sharing that with someone or an audience or writing about it, it's an, I have an opportunity to talk about the impact of enriched environments, to talk about individual differences, to talk about sex differences in learning, the impact of training, healthy brains throughout the lifespan. So it's become a great springboard to talk about some of our laboratory research.